on your side is hearing some kind of disturbing information coming out of the police department, the profound impact on other officers in the department. Their new fear that Kim died because he paused and offered to help instead of opening fire immediately. Nine on your side's Julie O'Neill spoke with the police chaplain a short time ago about that issue. Julie, kind of disturbing to hear that, that this may have been the cause. It is indeed, and we emphasize that details are still sketchy as to exactly what happened. But in today's climate of uh, intense scrutiny, when there is a use of force situation, there is fear amongst officers, I'm told, uh, that perhaps Kim may have hesitated for just that brief moment uh, that, that could have contributed to the outcome. Uh, we'll continue to get more information, but in the meantime, the police psychologist that's been here for decades says, Never has there been a more intense need for officers to get the psychological help they need than now. When this terrible event happened Friday morning, it wasn't long before I was getting calls from retired officers showing up that have been trained with this. Psychologist Dr. James Dom has counseled Cincinnati's cops for decades and says peer support is more important than ever. It's really a charged atmosphere of, of feelings uh, ranging from deep sadness to anger to some feeling a sense of responsibility. Dom says coping with a death today may be more intense given our social climate of increased scrutiny. It's bad enough that the terrible thing that you had to take a human life, which is the last thing you want to do, but now in addition to, to that immense emotional burden, you have to look around and say, what's coming now? To help them, I have to emphasize that they are allowed to have those feelings. This is one time where it's better to say, I am sad, I am distressed, I am angry, I am feeling a bit jittery, nauseous, and it's important to face that, express it where you can. Dom is advising officers to find balance and alone time to grieve and time with fellow officers and loved ones. His primary message. We're all going to work through this together. No matter what it takes, no matter how long, no matter what we do, we're going to survive, then we're going to thrive, and we're going to be successful. Dr. Dom emphasizing that officers should reach out to each other and to him for the help they need. And if you need to go to a quiet place such as this and have a cry, do it. Craig?